Hi, I'm Heather Dorf, indie actress, and you're watching Tony Has Nine Fingers. <laughs> What is going on, people? You know, it's, uh, it's been a long time since I've done uh, a good, you know, sit down and show off my movie collection. Uh, it's, you know, I think I did it a few weeks ago, uh, you know, and I mentioned, you know, it's it's been a while because I've done a weight loss journey uh, of my own, uh, just like, you know, Wet Movie and um, Cool Duder. Also, Mr. Tony of the Dead's on his own weight loss journey. So I've been, you know, kind of preoccupied with that. Um, and, uh, you know, I just, you know, between work and that and everything else, I kind of never really sat down. Haven't done this in a while. So um, I got a whole bunch to talk about in this. I do have a, uh, a nice big um, update for you guys. Over the past couple weeks, I've been uh, getting movies and such. And, um, you know, I'm sure there's a whole bunch more in my collection that I kind of, you know forgot to mention but that probably will be in a later video i'll go through all my videos and find out which ones i didn't do and pretty much just pull them out and uh do it from there but uh first let me get into uh my weight loss thing um because you know that is now really big in my life and uh pretty much i do uh 10 minute a day about between like five and ten minutes of a walking video i'll start walking in my town i used to do it my on my treadmill my treadmill broke uh well it's going to get fixed so i was walking out uh in my town and right in the beginning of the walk or middle of the walk whatever i take pretty much like a 10 minute uh video uh i give birthday shout outs i do a whole bunch of stuff in that video sometimes i do a, a movie review and uh whatever and it's pretty much you know just to keep me going keep me uh you know motivated and everything and from there it became bigger because then people said you know i, I posted on my facebook i posted it on uh, a few different pages on facebook uh whether it be my page or uh, my town's page or my like page or whatever and then people would watch the videos and you know either wish me good luck tell me i'm doing really good or uh on the occasion they would tell me that they're getting inspired and everything so pretty much what i'm doing I used to have a second channel called Tony Talks. What I'm actually doing now is I reversed that. Today I did a whole bunch of editing on certain things, intros and everything. And also I changed my Tony Talks page uh, or channel to The Walking Tone, which is my go ongoing title for my videos. And um, pretty much what I'm going to start doing is... Uh, putting the videos that I normally just throw on Facebook. I'm going to put it on there. I'm going to try to put them on Pinterest because there's a lot of people that said Pinterest is good. I really don't know how to use that. But um, if you want to, I'll leave the link to my other channel on here so you know you guys can check it out. Or I'll leave the link to my uh, my one like page, which I've been posting every single video from the beginning. Uh, August 1st, 2015 is when I started this. So every single video that I've uploaded or posted has uh will be on that page I'll, I'll leave the link to that if there's anybody out there you know that is having trouble with weight and such and you know kind of just need that extra push or motivation you watch my videos and you know you might you know could get motivation like i did from cool duder and uh wet movie one so again thank you for anybody who continues to watch my those videos or support me through my weight loss journey um Again, you know, I've been slacking on these videos, which, you know, I've done in the past, but, you know, it's always been in the back of my head. So I want to get back into it. So uh, let me get into the update now. Like I said, the other, all the other links will be linked uh, or posted in, in the description box. But um, I got a whole bunch of stuff. Again, there's probably more stuff that I totally just forgot that, I've, that I have that, um, you know, um, actually there's one right here. I'm going to go off camera for the first time ever. And, um, you know, how bad is that? You, will, you won't even get this edited. You're just going to see this. But uh, there's another, another movie that I did watch. I'll put that in the watch column. I have uh, two different columns over here. Pretty much the movies I've watched before that, and the other ones that I have that I've gotten that I haven't watched. Uh, 
Let me get into this one first because I actually got this today through uh, Columbia House. Heard nothing but actually a lot of good things. It looks like it's getting a big buzz. Uh, kind of like a, a lower budget. I, I don't know how low budget it is, but uh, uh, Camp Blue Finch. Uh, no, I thought that was the uh, the uh, company of it. But uh, stars people I've never heard of. Uh, Thaisa Farming, uh, Farminga, uh, Malin Ackerman, Adam Devine or Devine, Thomas Middleditch, Aliyah uh, Shawcat, Alexander Ludwig, and Nina uh, Dolbrev. I probably butchered those last names, which I do tend to do a lot. But uh, anyway, it's uh, the final girls here on Blu-ray. Again, I got it in today, so I haven't gotten a chance to check it out, but I've heard. You know, I've, I've seen it a lot of places. I've heard a lot of good things. So probably right after this video, I'm going to pop it in. Um, this one I got through um, uh, whatever as well, Columbia House. Um, didn't know much about it. I just found it for cheap, and I thought I'd, uh, I thought I'd get it. And that's like water for chocolate. I have no idea. Didn't even read the back of this thing. I just, you know, kind of the, the cover kind of caught my eye, and then I bought it and still haven't watched it. Uh, this I got through Disney Movie Rewards, and that's uh, Secret of the Wings, the uh, little, um, what do you want to call it, Tinkerbell thing. I have the one uh, Never Beast, which, you know, it's a kid's movie. It's probably meant for, like, 12-year-old girls or even younger, but I didn't mind it. It was kind of cute. So I got this for my Disney Movie Rewards, uh, Secret of the Wings. Uh, this one I got, these two I got yesterday, and I haven't gotten, or Tuesday, I forgot today's Thursday, but, uh, this one stars Ryan Reynolds and Ben Kingsley and, uh, Selfless. It looked pretty good, the trailers for it looked pretty good, still haven't checked it out, though. And this one has, uh, what's his name, uh, is it Jason Bateman? Who's, who is it? Um, yeah, um, no, who is it? Bill Hader, that's who it is, and Amy Schumer. And John Cena, and uh, there's a few other people in this. LeBron James is in it for a cameo, and uh, it's a Judd Apatow film, and that's uh, Trainwreck. I saw parts of it when the parts that I saw were actually pretty funny. Actually, the John Cena parts were kind of funny. I didn't watch the whole thing because I kind of got side, not even sidetracked. I kind of put it in too late. And on Tuesday, go ahead and I mentioned them in a lot of. Uh, videos I do but the Dorkening I actually you know been watching it so long that they actually invited me to be on there so uh, I am now a uh, you know a part-time I guess you want to call it a uh, member of the Dorkening where we interview different people uh, this week we had on Heather Dorf from uh, um, Truth or Dare um, and a whole bunch of other stuff so definitely go check that I'll link that on the bottom because now you'll see yours truly's face on that as well and we're interviewing and such it's really good stuff i'll leave the link to that but i was watching train wreck and i kind of got uh like i said i put it in too late and then we started doing a live uh show so didn't get a chance to end it but like i said from what i saw it's kind of funny it's got dirty humor uh the john cena parts were actually pretty funny in my eyes but uh yeah uh that's train wreck i saw this one i don't know if i i don't think i uh reviewed it but if I did in my last video, I apologize. It's uh, Robin Williams in Boulevard. This is uh, his last movie before he unfortunately passed away. Um, and, uh, you know, it's a little bit different than he usually does. Like, really, it's very odd, like, the, the, the whole aspect of this and his, you know, kind of batting for the other team, like his homosexuality in this movie, was definitely, you know... His character kind of came off as creepy to me. So, uh, this one definitely, uh, I forgot I watched this. I, I picked it up. But, uh, Boulevard, it's different. I mean, it's it's very powerful, I guess you want to call it. But his character came off a little weird and off to me in this movie. Uh, I'd say check it out because not only is this Robin Williams' last movie, but, you know, his the, the style of the movie, you know, Definitely is off to me, but some people might enjoy it. So that's Boulevard. These next couple, I I don't know why I picked that one up because I didn't watch. Uh, I watched that one, but these ones I didn't. This one has Sparkle and Dream Girls on it. I got it at the 788 bin. Usually when I go to Walmart, I try to pick something up. 
this is the only thing that I, I don't want to say caught my eye, but it was on the top. And I'm like, you know, it's a double pack. Maybe something my mom would like. So I got it. Sparkle and Dream Girls. Uh, this one is has Matt Damon, John Kernansky, or Krasinski. Wow, I totally butchered that. And Francis McDermott. And that's Promised Land. No idea. Don't know what it's about. Picked it up. It was like $5 on Amazon. So I picked it up. This one I got from Best Buy, and that's uh, the Vatican Tapes. Almost looks like one of those, you know, uh, uh, Last Exorcism of Evan League Rose and stuff like that. One of those, you know, trying to fix a possessed person. Stars uh, Olivia Taylor Dudley, Michael Penna, uh, Doug Ray Scott, and Kathleen Robertson. Again, Vatican Tapes. Have not been able to sit down and watch that. Uh, these I did sit down and watch. This one I got a couple weeks ago, and that's the uh, Jurassic World um, uh you know, steel tin, I guess you want to call it, whatever. Now that I gotten this, I was so gung ho about getting this. You know, kind of. Once you picked it up, you're like, eh, what I get it for? I would have rather had the, you know, regular holder. This one's kind of, you know, a little bit different. But, uh, but Jurassic World, you know, I still like the first one the best. But this one kind of makes up for the other two. The second one was all right. The third one I hated. I don't want to say hated, but uh, you know, didn't like much. Uh, this one definitely made up for it. The park is now open, and uh, uh, the one lady who runs pretty much uh, the her nephews were sent there because the parents were fighting. So the two nephews were sent to this park, and they kind of get into their own mischief and stuff happens. And uh, now dinosaurs are running around the park with actual people in it. So, like I said, it's definitely better than the other two, but I still love the, the first one, the, the whole aspect of it. The first one is still my favorite. This one's, I, I, I don't want to say a close, close second, but, you know, it, it, it's second in my list. Um, this I got from uh, Disney, uh, Movie Rewards, Ruby, Movie Rewards, I can't even speak, but that's the Lilo and Stitch. Um uh, Two pack. It's got the first Lilo and Stitch, and then Stitch has got a glitch. I didn't mind those. I, I actually liked the cartoon too that they had on Disney Channel. I enjoyed these movies. I liked the first one better. Second one was kind of, eh, kind of you know trying to ride the coattails of the first one, I guess. But it wasn't that bad. But and then I also liked the uh, series as well. But uh, I got that for free on Disney Movie Rewards, so I picked that one up. This one I got from uh, Columbia House, and it's a. Um, documentary and it's called dinosaur 13 pretty much uh the there was scientist in uh what state was this no i can't even remember what state it's in uh i don't know what state it's in i totally forgot but they were from the uh, black Hi uh black hills institute and um pretty much these people found a uh, tyrannosaurus rex uh fossil and you know it they found it and they f realized that this was put together. It's probably the most put together uh, fossil that they found. They, you know, brought it back to their institute. They were cleaning it up and then something happened with the FBI and they found out that, I don't know how the word got around, but uh, they found out that this dinosaur was on Native American land that uh, isn't, no one's allowed to actually find or, or dig onto, I guess you want to call it. So the FBI got, uh, uh, you know, involved, and they took this fossil and everything, and then there was a bidding war, they put it on auction and everything, and it's just pretty much a story behind this whole thing, which was, you know, very interesting. I'm I'm a big fan of documentaries, if it, the documentary interests me. There's some that I get bored with, but there's other ones that, you know, I find really interesting. This one definitely was. I'd say check it out, Dinosaur 13, especially if you're into, you know, paleontology and all this kind of stuff. It's really cool. I picked this one up uh two tuesdays ago or this two, no two tuesdays ago and that's uh toy story that time forgot this is one of those shorts they had the one halloween special this one's a short as well uh this one has stars you know woody and buzz and a few others the triceratops i forget what her name is but uh the little girl they are now with that little girl again at the end of the third one a little spoiler alert i, pr I apologize but uh she brings them over to this kid's house and they put him in the room and they're off doing their video games because that's what kids do now. But in the room, this kid got this big like dinosaur set and it's pretty much in the past and uh, 
you know, then the your hero toys are fighting these dinosaur toys. You know, it's a I think it's like a 35 minute short. Um, you know, it's pretty good for a short. I mean, it would have been better if it was a full length film, but for what it was, you can't really complain about it too much. It was decently cheap, so that's why I got it, and that's why I'm not too pissed that it's like again only like 25 minutes long, but um with the DMR points and everything else, that's what I was going for. Uh, this came out a few weeks ago. Uh, the Back to the Future trilogy. This is when you know Back to the Future was uh, October. Uh, what was it? October fifteenth or I forget the date, but uh, no, October twenty first. So it was around that when this came back out, and uh, you know I had the original set uh, that they put out a few years ago, and then I decided to pick this one up. This one's the. Uh, what you, the 30th anniversary, this one over here that I have is the uh, 25th anniversary. So I do have two copies of the Back to the Future trilogy, which, you know, probably I'll give this one away in a, uh, you know, I, I'm thinking about doing a um, giveaway. I have a few things going on, then and then uh, once I get that going up, uh, I'll have a giveaway. This will probably be one of the prizes because there's no need to have two, so I'll probably end up giving this one away eventually. And, uh, yeah, but, you know, Back to the Future trilogy. Don't really have to say much about that. I bought this at Best Buy for, no, uh, Walmart for $12, I believe. Uh, and that's The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, uh, the one with Jim Carrey. You know, they made it a live-action version. I didn't, I, you know, I enjoyed it. I like the cartoon better just because I grew up watching it as a kid. This one's, you know, as good as it can be, I guess you want to call it. Uh, it's a little bit different than a cartoon, but you know it held up. Uh, on this, on Blu-ray, it looks pretty, pretty good. It's got a whole bunch of different, uh, uh, you know, uh, special features. I did have this on uh, DVD, so I just decided I saw it, so I'm like, you know what? Let me update it. Uh, this one I got through Disney, and that's uh, the Aladdin, the uh, you know Diamond Edition, the Blu-ray DVD combo. Looks really good on Blu-ray. I popped this in. You know, everyone knows the story. Aladdin was a uh, street kid. He ran into the guy Jafar, who pretty much used him just to get the lamp uh, in this like lion head thing in the middle of the desert. And somehow Aladdin gets the lamp, rubs the genie, or rubs the lamp, and that sounded very disgusting. But rubs the lamp, genie pops out. Robin Williams as the genie. Uh, great movie, you know. It's a childhood movie I grew up with. Uh, probably top 10. Not Some people have this really top in their Disney uh, list. Uh, I have it, you know, top 10 definitely, but a little lower because I do like those obscure Peach Dragon, uh, Robin Hood, um, you know, uh, uh, Great Mouse Detective, The Rescuers. Those are towards the top. This one, you know, is still probably top 10, but towards the bottom of that top 10. This one came out... Uh, two weeks ago, and that's uh, Disney's Inside Out. It's a Pixar movie. This one, this edition, comes with these slip-in things. It's got all, I guess, all uh, five of the characters or whatever, but I didn't open it yet, so this is the little cover. I guess each one has their own little face, but pretty much this movie is about uh, this little girl growing up, and, you know, she started out as a little kid, and then she grew up in her teenage years, but uh, there's five major... Uh, feelings, I guess you want to call it. There's joy, disgust, anger, fear, and um, what was the fifth one? Uh, sadness. And pretty much it's uh, this little girl's head, these characters, you know, running her life, dead, trying to make her happy and sad and whatever whatever it is. Uh, and then all calamities happen where, uh, I don't want to give the whole movie away, but uh, it's pretty much these little characters running this girl's life and what happens when they kind of go off kilter and her attitude goes off kilter and everything. Definitely a really cute Pixar movie. There is, you know, some sad scenes and everything, but definitely a really good movie, I'd say. If you haven't checked it out, definitely go ahead and check it out. It's definitely for the little kitties, and because I'm a little kid, I enjoyed it. Um, this one was actually pretty funny. I didn't expect it to be anything great, but, uh, you know, it was definitely funny. Uh, definitely a lot dirtier and raunchier jokes than I thought were definitely were gonna be in it but that's a uh, vacation pretty much uh, the little kid uh, from the originals grew up and now he's uh, Ed Helms plays his character uh, Christina Applegate is the um, the uh, wife and they're bringing these two the two kids 
on a vacation to uh, Wally World that was in the first, uh, was it the first one or the second one? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was just in vacation, but it's what happens on their vacation to go there. Like I said, it's very, you know, very a lot dirtier and raunch raunchier jokes than I thought would be in this kind of, would be in the movie. But uh, definitely, you know, I'd say it was uh, definitely worth a watch. Uh, this one was definitely better than I expected it to be. I didn't expect much of anything. Then I got uh, the digital copy, and then I watched it, and, you know, I ended up buying it because I liked it, and that's uh, Pixels. I got it here on a Steelbook. I ain't the biggest Steelbook fan, but, you know, uh, this one was actually cheaper than the regular Blu-ray, so I got it. Pixels is pretty much Adam Sandler's character is a, you know, in the beginning he's a video gamer and then they all grow up and Kevin James is in it and a few other people are in it and uh, America is getting attacked by um, these um, video game characters uh, where they shot something up in space and aliens got a hold of it and now we're using these video game characters to fight against... Um, to fight against um, America or the U.S. or the world, it's it's all over the world actually. So it's uh, these video game characters against the world, and pretty much since Adam Sandler is a big gamer, he pretty knows how much knows how to win each game. So now he's working with the army and everything. Like I said, it's definitely a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I say definitely go ahead and check that out if you haven't yet. Uh, this one stars uh, Jason Bateman, Rebecca Hall. And uh, Joel Egerton, and that movie is The Gift. Overall, I enjoyed the movie. The premise I really didn't like, to tell you the truth. Uh, pretty much, it's uh, Jason Bateman character and his wife uh, uh, Rebecca Hall. Uh, they get married, and everything's going pretty good. Uh, they run into Joel Egerton's character, who is actually from uh, Jason Bateman's past. Uh, found out that. You know, as the movie goes along, found out that Jason Bateman was kind of like a bully to this guy and kind of ruined his life. And now it's kind of coming back to haunt him. Uh, again, I'd say watch it. You know, it's a pretty good movie. I just didn't like the whole premise of it. But uh, The Gift. Uh, this one was uh, visually stunning, I guess you want to call it. I think a little bit too much CGI. Nowadays, movies are relying too much on the CGI. The story was decent. I enjoyed the story, but that's uh, San Andreas. Pretty much, you know, they said eventually California is going to have some major earthquakes that are, you know, going to separate it from uh, the rest of the uh, United States and everything. Well, this is what pretty much is going to is happening now. These huge earthquakes are hitting California, um, and it's pretty much Rock's character uh, trying to save his wife and his daughter and. Uh, Pretty much, it's what's going on with these earthquakes happening. Everyone's panicking, and you know, a lot of stuff is happening. A lot of stuff is going on. So, I say definitely go ahead and check this out. Uh, like I said, it's a little bit too much CGI. I'm not a huge fan of CGI to begin with. This one has, you know, extreme buttloads of freaking uh, CGI. Story's good, it's just a little bit too much CGI. But I, I know a lot of people like this new wave of, of movie, so you probably all like this. Uh, this one I got from the um, Disney uh, Movie Rewards, and that's Disney's Tarzan. Uh, pretty much Disney's portrayal of, uh, you know, man's in the jungle, or this little boy's raised by all the animals, like gorillas and elephants and such. Uh, a group of people come in to uh, poach these gorillas and everything, and Tarzan runs into Jane, who's this pretty, like... Uh, rich girl and everything and pretty much saves her from uh, these different things and then they kind of have a love story that goes on and everything but uh, Tarzan on Blu-ray uh, this one was pretty cool uh, Disney's Tomorrowland it stars uh, George Clooney who else is in this uh, um, Rafi Cassidy uh, Britt Robertson and uh, Hugh Laurie pretty much uh, it's a wave of tomorrow and in the beginning of the movie, you see all these, uh, this kid kind of get, you know, transported. He got this little pin, and uh, he's transported into this different world that they have a separate world for, you know, the bright minds of the future, like inventors and artists and all this stuff. And he gets transported there. Time moves on, and you find out this little girl, you know, is into everything, and she's got this brilliant mind. But uh, you don't know what happened to this other world. Uh, she ends up running into this little girl who gives her this pin again 
and little does she know that there's people that are, you know, trying to keep people away, especially George Clooney's character and all these new people, and they're trying to keep it to themselves because actually what's happening on this world that we live in now, um, you know, it's kind of dying, what humanity's done to it, uh, the world is dying, so to keep this other world a secret to just the people, they're trying to keep uh, anything out, it's just pretty much their world and everything, they don't want anybody else in, so it's like two worlds colliding, I guess you want to call it, it's a, definitely a pretty good movie, um, you know, when I saw trailers of it, I really wasn't all that much interested, I got it anyway, uh, because that's usually what I do, and you know what, it's not too bad, um, this one here, Max, uh, who's it, um, Robert, uh, Mill, Josh Wiggins, um, there was a few other people, like one of those, you know, oh, I've seen him in a movie kind of deal, but pretty much this is about a, uh, a military dog who belonged to the one main character's brother in the military, he ended up getting killed, and pretty much, you know, the brother is the only one that can connect to this guy, Max, uh, one of the, you know, evil presence, I guess you want to call it, another person comes and kind of gets in contact with the family, and they end up, um, kidnapping the father and pretty much it's the little kid and max going to find the father and try to save him uh really i, I enjoyed this whole movie a lot to tell you the truth i didn't uh, expect much of it i thought it was going to get going to be one of those you know little kid like kid movies and everything it, w it wasn't really i mean it is rated pg it has its you know action and fighting and everything so it's not really your typical run of the mill like kids movie i mean it has a lot of you know no swearing or nothing in it but Overall, I enjoyed this movie a whole lot. I'd say definitely go ahead and check that out if you haven't. This one probably was my favorite movie out of the whole bunch that I've gotten recently. Stars uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, Forrest Whitaker, and Rachel McAdams. And that's uh, Southpaw. Uh, pretty much um, Jake Gyllenhaal's character is a professional boxer. And that's how he you know, uh, keeps his family going and everything. And he's pretty much his champion who's never lost who, you know, at one point was given a uh, interview and he runs into this guy who wants to challenge him, this, like, thug guy, um, and he doesn't give him an answer. His character ends up going to, with his wife, to this, like, charity hall, and then he ends up running into this character again, and they kind of get into a fight, scuffle, uh, something happens, and, well, I'll give it, and this is right in the beginning, the wife gets shot and killed, so pretty much his life is going into a downward spiral, he's drinking and stuff, loses his daughter, and pretty much what the rest of the movie is, is his rise to fame again, he run, uh, meets Forrest Whitaker, who was a trainer, who, you know, most people didn't want anything to do with him, and Forrest Whitaker knew what he had, kind of deal, and it's pretty much the rest of the movie is him changing his life around, not only to get his daughter back, but to, you know, renew his career that he loved so much, that pretty much made his, uh, his life, so... I like this movie a whole lot, uh, really good, you know, I, at the end, I kind of, you know, shed a tear, I was, I was, I don't want to say emotional, because I would have probably cried through the whole movie, but the ending, you know, I did shed a tear, it was very emotional and everything, but really good movie, I say, if you haven't checked this one out, go ahead, check it out, Southpaw, uh, and the last two things I have here are box sets, the first one, these two I actually bought together, uh, they came to 60 bucks, uh, one was 40, a little over 40, I think it was like 42, so it came to like $61. This one was 42, originally priced at like 119 thanks Amazon Prime, I got it for 42 and this other one was 19.99. The packaging isn't, great, it isn't the greatest, but for 19.99, I wasn't going to pass up that, because that was originally almost 100 bucks too. But this first one I got was uh, The Boy Meets World, the complete series, all seven seasons, um... It also comes with a uh, extra disc, a bonus disc with like, uh, what is it? Boy Meets World Back to the Beginning and Boy Meets World World uh, Fandom. And, you know, I enjoyed watching this. I had the first three seasons and, you know, I you know found this for... Uh, each season was close to like $20 itself. So finding this for uh, 48 bucks that would have been the cost of the other two seasons or other four seasons more than i would have had uh, the other i only had three so i would have had to buy, buy four and that would have cost me 80 bucks by itself so getting this um you know kind of just saved me a whole bunch of money by switching to geico only kidding but uh yeah boy meets world and this i got for 19.99 couldn't pass it up i heard a lot of negative things about the packaging 
and you know the packaging isn't the greatest um could have did a whole lot better could have had other movies in it but uh this is the uh tim burton collection uh it comes with uh batman batman returns beetlejuice mars attacks Pee-wee's Big Adventure, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and Tim Burton's A Corpse Ride. Uh, you know, what they could have taken out was probably Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and uh, Corpse Bride and put in, like, Ed Wood or Edward Scissorhands or both or whatever. But for, you know, $19.99, all on Blu-ray, like I said, the, the um, packaging isn't the greatest. There's really not that many special features on anything. They're pretty much, like, the cut and dry uh, releases but seven DVDs or seven Blu-rays mind you for uh, it came to 1999 I wasn't gonna pass this up uh, I like 95% of them uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is not as much as the only one that I kind of didn't like out of this whole thing but you know 1999 like I said a nice box set uh, couldn't pass it up so that was pretty much this entire uh, st things I haven't gotten in a, uh, over the past, you know, three weeks, four weeks. Uh, again, some of this I might have mentioned in my other one, but kind of didn't go over that beforehand, which I should have. But uh, again, um, I do have a weight loss journey going on. I made a new page, Walking Tone. I'll leave the link to that. I'll leave the link to my fan page, which I have all the videos on. You know, if you're dealing with anything, if you're dealing with, you know, weight loss journey yourself, or you want to start and you don't know where... Definitely go ahead, check out my, uh, you know, all it takes is walking, exercise, and eating right. And to tell you the truth, I lost 41 pounds. So, uh, again, I'll leave all the links to that. Um, uh, I'll leave the link to the dorkening. Like I said, on Tuesdays from now on, I might be able to, you know, join them for interviews and everything. I've been on for the past, you know, couple months. There was one day that kind of got messed up. So, uh, I wasn't on then. But, you know, um, hopefully I'm able to come back weekly on a weekly basis that's tuesday nights they also have live events or live uh things wednesday uh wednesday sundays uh wednesdays they do have a sit down with uh the 13 wolfman that's on uh youtube uh what else um i guess that's it like i said i'm gonna try to do this on a weekly basis it might be just one video a week maybe a couple but i'm trying to you know kind of equal out the timing between uh YouTube, uh, my my weight loss journey, work and everything. Eventually, I'll figure that out and you know be on here more. And uh, yeah, again, thank you very much. I'll let people know about not only my weight loss journey but my channel as, as well. You know, continue to like the uh, like the videos. You know, share the videos if you can with your friends. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. Again, thank you everyone who, you know, continues to watch me even though, you know, I take long breaks and everything. I apologize. You know that movies are my life and it's just, you know, it's hard finding the time now, which is an excuse that I have to, you know, definitely work on. But I will work on it. And again, thank you very much and uh, I'll see you in the next video.